Hey, everybody. Welcome back to LHO. My next guest is a chef and humanitarian whose charity, World Central Kitchen, has provided disaster relief to millions of people all over the world. Please welcome our friend and yours, Jose Andres. Jose, thanks so much for being here. Hey, thank you for having me. Now, what, what, what are we going to be cooking today? Uh, pasta. Everybody has pasta. You have pasta? Sure. Yes, I have a so, lot. Of, what, what do I, what, I got, what kind do you want? We want a pasta that cooks very quickly, like angel hair, three minutes. So this one, like the fideo, fidelini. I have uh, like these thin, I have these thin Asian noodles. Does that do? Uh, boom. Said, I like them. Three minutes. Okay, good. Okay. So here I have uh, fish and I have a shrimp. Uh, I have, wait, I have shrimp. My lovely wife, Evie, has cleaned okay, some shrimp. beautiful shrimp. Yeah. Boom. We That's got shrimp. it. Boom. Do you have any any stock of any type? I not only have stock, I made my own shrimp stock last weekend. Wow. Look at that. Look at that beautiful. Mm. Okay. Mm. I have a stock too. Ooh. Does yours smell like a creek? <laughs> mm. That's good. That means you're using real shrimp. <laughs> so we have these. I need some tomato, some onion. I have onion. I've got I got some onion here. I got some to okay. chop. So you're gonna get a little pan like this. The little one, yeah. a little pen. We need two pens. A big one, like this, and a like this? small one. You want this? Yeah. Like this? In the in the little one, that's great. In the little one, we're going to make a sofrito. You're going to start cooking the onion with olive oil. Olive oil. Why, why, are, you making, olive oil. why are you making so many noises? I mean, I'm looking, I'm looking for the right pan for my sofrito. This is, this What's is, a sofrito? This is, this is cooking. This is not a music class, man. That's flamenco. That's flamenco. Uh, a sofrito is a basic sauce of onions cooked with tomato. So now okay. put the onion, put the onion in the pot and start Got cooking it. it very quickly. Not a lot of onion, a little bit. There you go. Uh, what are you using? A wooden spoon? I like wooden spoons. How about that? I got this little kind okay. of wooden. Also, right I'm going to give you a tip because there's many people at home and, and, and you cannot play golf. I, I have here my, 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 my golf clubs. Uh, this one is from Sergio Garcia. Yes, I'm showing off yeah. when, when sure, he sure. won the Masters. And, and then you can use your, your, your club. This is a 54 wedge, 54 wedge. And you can use it. Uh, uh, this gives you kind of control of your wedges. Would you go get me some golf clubs? Uh, you have my a golf club? down underneath. Oh my God. So make sure it's clean first and doesn't have any dirt from the ground. Look at this action. What do you make of this? Let me see. Come on. <laughs> this is I amazing. I trained for years to do this. Look at that. How many, how much onion is going to the floor? <laughs> not, not more than yeah. half. Okay. Jose, tell me about, tell me about the, what World Central Kitchen has been doing during this crisis. Listen, World Central Kitchen, we've been um, working since Yokohama many weeks ago in Japan, then Auckland feeding the cruise ships. And then we saw that this was going to become a humanitarian crisis. We began thinking, if, if this is going to get bad and people are going to have to stay home, we're going to have to feed a lot of people, elderly. And so we began thinking how we will do that. We did a plan. And right now I can tell you we've done more than a million and a half meals. We are already doing over 200,000 meals a day. And we are in more wow. than 90 cities, in 15 states. The food community is rallying together uh, with World Central Kitchen and their Chefs for America. And we are feeding anybody in need of a meal. Can be elderly, can be children, can be our first responders, our nurses, our doctors. So I'm so happy this is happening as we speak. Okay. Wait, I don't, I don't have a golf club, but I have a, I have a croquet mallet right here. Croquet works for, do you have garlic? Yes. <laughs> okay, it's much the garlic. All right, do more. I'm cooking no more. with Mjolnir. No, I need more, it's much, it's much and more. Smash it more, okay. Oh yeah, I am cooking with the Stephen Colbert. I am and cooking I with Jose Andres. 
and I have light yes. in my face. <laughs> Thank you, Placido. You can do it also with this, a mortar and a pestle. Mortar and a oh. pestle, okay. Do you have parsley there? You have parsley? Do I have parsley? Yeah. If you do, well, if not, anything else you have. If you do, that's great. If not, it's not a problem, it says. Yeah, uh, you can use any herb. Any oh, herb I'm smoking. Smoke. Hold on. Too hot. It's burning? It's burning. <laughs> I mean, more olive oil. You, Hold on. You are only doing onion, and you are burning the onion. <laughs> too high, too high. There you go. Okay, it's good. So add the tomato now. No, no, okay. the tomato. Little bit of the tomato. How much is a little bit? Okay, a uh, little bit, man. I mean, make like it a, your do own it, recipe. Do it in metric. I don't know. Uh, uh, one cup. How is it? It's good. Looks beautiful. Okay, keep cooking it. What happened? <laughs> the champagne exploded. The cava exploded. Oh, okay, hold man. on. Champagne? We're doing champagne? No, 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 I'm doing cava in honor of Spain, in honor of Barcelona, Catalonia. I don't think I have anything from Catalonia. I have aporron. Look at this. And this is what we do. You look like a mad scientist. I want to warn our affiliates who might be going long. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is looking good, Jose. All right. What about now, salt keep... or pepper or anything like that? Are we going to put anything? Not yet. Well, put a little bit of salt, a little bit. A little bit of salt. Let me tell you what's happening right now, Stephen. The onion that has been alone under the dirt for long weeks. Yes. The onion finally met the beautiful red tomato. And they are telling each other, hey, baby, where have you been on my life? And the tomato tells the onion, I've been above ground waiting for you to come up. And in this moment, what you see what's happening, this smell is a smell of love. Mm. It's the smell of saying, we the people together, we can make it happen. Jose, we have okay. to take a little bit of a break, but don't go away. We'll be right back with more of World Central Kitchen's Jose Andres. <laughs> 